Welcome to the first Megapig q and I'm excited to answer some questions. First one, Kalsacat asks, What is your favorite Funko Pop? Mine is Jean, the emoji from the hit animated movie, The Emoji Movie. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because it's a uh, Jax Films reference? Uh, pass. Spirit Eye, a Toho YouTuber who's made several great videos on PC98 Toho, asks, Which PC98 character would you like to see come back to Windows Canyon, and which PC98 character do you think would be the easiest to bring back? Okay, first one. Even though Louise is my favorite Toho character, I think you made me would probably offer uh, the most to Toho's world thanks for her connections to the Ceiling Club, and the fact that she can literally teleport in. As for the easiest character to bring back, I think having a gag where the five magic stones return and terrify Reimu would be really funny. Mass Potato Bolshevik asks, what are some of your favorite Toho ships? You know, the same user actually told me once that they'd hear about my Toho shipping antics somehow. Well, as uh, many of you know, my number one ship is Seija X Gen Momaru. The angst and level of chemistry between them is something I love and I spent two months researching the pairing to write my visual novel, Toho Dance of the Inverted Heart. But other than those two, Fudo x Ichiren is a really fun pairing, since Ichiren bounces off really well from uh, Fudo's antics. In 15.5, the pair get along so well that they're able to beat Bakuren and Miko in an even fight. Fudo even asks Ichiren to go to a concert with her in one of her victory quotes. And finally, while there's a lot less material in the actual series than the other two pairings, I really like Murasa X Nui. They aren't exactly opposites, but they're different enough to bounce off each other well in terms of dynamics. I headcanon that Nui gave Murasa her new jacket, and this answer has gone on really long, wow. Maybe I'll talk more about ships in a different video. Skylock asks, Why are you so based? I don't know, man. My parents raised me well. New Jam asks, What are two Toho characters you want to see more interactions between? This one's really easy. Sumireko and Sane have had one conversation in the entire series. They're both girls who came to Gensokyo from the modern outside world, and are also total geeks. It'd be a ton of fun to see them interact more. Yuka Kiribari asks, What do you think of Madness Combat? I don't know what that is, unfortunately. Sorry. Average Kosuzu Enjoyer asks three questions. What is your favorite Toho game? What is your favorite Toho theme? Who is the best Toho girl? And why is it Marissa? So, the first one. My favorite Toho game overall is Toho 10. I think it does a good job setting up its journey and world, and I also think it has the best soundtrack in the series. But my favorite Toho game to play is 14. That's why it's in the background. I play in normal mode, and here there's a lot of really fun stage sections and boss fights. Plus, the item gravitation system encourages aggressive play, which I think helps the design. 2. My favorite Toho theme is Heartfelt Fancy. I love the solemnity it captures. S uh, solemnity. Solemn solemn. I love the solemnness it captures and how it matches Satori's angst. No joke, I set an alarm for Scarlet Flame Flandre's re-extension of the song so I could leave a comment hoping it would reach the top, and it actually worked. And three, best Toho girl, and why isn't it Marissa? Well, I like Marissa. I think her entire arc of self-improvement and defying limits is really inspiring, but to go along with Heartfelt Fancy, my favorite Toho character is Satori. I think the angst that comes with mind reading is neat, and she's also pretty cute. And I'm happy she's getting a manga right now. If you read this, you're gay. I mean, that's like an eighth rate. Asks three questions. One, what's your favorite dinosaur? Two, do you have a Toho headcanon that you'd like to share with us? Three, what do you think of Sine? Is she epic or cringe? Okay, so first one. A bit of a basic answer, but I think pterodactyls are really cool. I mean... Flying dinosaur? Come on, that's wicked. Second one, head cannon. Uh, I know. I like to think that Reimu doesn't mind her mind being read by Satori, because 
what Reimu thinks is essentially exactly what she says already. Number 3. Zanae's pretty epic. I like how she's still the new kid on the block, I like how she's excited to be in a land full of cool things, and I like her family relationship with the temple. Coco Apodoa asks, do you plan to expand Toho more than you already have? A bit of a vague question, but I really want to write a fanfiction exploring Raiko's origins and how she ended up becoming such an awesome person. Hermite asks, how did you get into my recommendations? Well, the YouTuber The Spiffing Brit made a video about how the community tab on YouTube is broken, so that's probably why. Dave Johnsy asks five questions. One, what do you like and dislike about the Toho community? Two, favorite Toho Dojin Circle. Three, what is the process of making your videos from start to finish? Four, who are you as a real life person? And five, which process do you like and dislike the most when making a video? Okay, first one, Toho community. I need to be very careful about what I say here. I like all the fan works first and foremost. Toho's community is unique in that way, and we get stuff like Bad Apple. Dislike? I guess the fandom's tendency to over-exaggerate the significance of things like Moria Shrine taken down. And to be clear, I have been guilty of that in the past and the surprising amount of bigots in the community. Okay, two. Favorite Dojin Circle. For music, I love Liz Triangle. The album Yellow is my favorite Toho album of all time. Their songs can pack an emotional punch. For art, Aya Azuma's fan works are always a joy to read. Okay, video process. I tend to come up with video ideas from talking to people. For example, the theme of Eastern Story video came from a talk I had on the Toho Game Dev Hub. I usually write the script after, which I consider the most important part of the video. That's also generally my favorite part of making a video, since I like writing. This is followed by my least favorite part of making a video, recording audio. Recording audio sucks. For every minute that I record, that usually translates to 3-5 to five minutes of editing it. Plus. I need to watch things like, uh, coughing and stuff. And finally, video editing. Video editing's alright, actually. It takes a while, but it's cool to see the final product. Who are you as a real-life person? That's something I'm actually pretty proud of. The me I present online and the me in real life are pretty much the same person. If you asked anyone I know in real life, I think they'd be inclined to agree. ProtoX64734 asks, Does anyone make fun of you for playing Toho? Well, like... Some online friends make fun of me casually, but it's always as a joke. I make fun of a friend for playing Osu, he makes fun of me for playing Toho. It's just some friendly trades. Solaris Sect asks three questions. One, what are your favorite pieces of video game music that aren't from Toho? Two, do you have a favorite Pokemon, and if so, what is it? And three, what are your biggest influences as a game designer? Okay, first one. There's a lot of really good video game music out there, so I think I'd take a look at my favorite video game series to find my favorite songs. For Mega Man, well, there's a giant list there, but my favorite is Napalm Man's theme. I love the confident energy it exudes. For Puyo Puyo, I love Last of Puyo Sue. It's always exciting when this song comes back, for Fire Emblem, pretty much any song from Fates, especially a light. That song is so good. Uh, throughout the background of the video, I assume I'll have edited these songs in, so yeah, take a listen. All great stuff. Two, favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is Ampharos. I think it's an adorable giant sheep, and it's also a pretty good mon on a casual playthrough. Three, as a game designer, I look at games that combine storytelling and gameplay together. That's why I love Fire Emblem so much. In terms of gameplay, I adore the Super Mario Galaxy games. Those would probably be my first references for games to look to when I'm designing levels. Little Crib asks, what do I think his least favorite video game is? Well, that's easy. As he's told me several times beforehand, his least favorite video game is Xenoblade Chronicles and he has no problem with me telling everyone that he absolutely can't stand that game and would rather play anything else. Yep. Basement Rat asks four questions. 
on the opposite end of the spectrum, do you have any Toho characters that you don't like? Do you have a favorite Toho fan game? What made you start YouTube? What challenges have you faced along the way to 5k? What are some highlights? Actually, I guess that's five questions. Six. And, if you weren't making videos or in the Toho fandom in general, what do you think you'd be doing now? Okay, first one. I don't dislike any Toho characters, but I do think Yamani is really boring. Like, she's just a spider. Second one, for a favorite fan game, even though it came out recently, I think Mistia Izakaya is a triumph. It has really good writing, fantastic presentation, and the game is fun to play. It's also nice to see Mistia get one of the fandom's best works. For the YouTube questions, I'm actually going to cheat a bit. I answered those on my guest appearance on Mega Frog's Hifu Community Club. You can check it out with the card here. And what would I be doing without Toho? I think I'd mainly be focusing on college, and probably a lot more focus also on making games than I already do right now. Star Lotus asks four questions. One, how did you discover Toho Project? Two, favorite two who's? Three, what's my favorite video game series that isn't Toho? Four, from which YouTuber do you take inspiration to make your videos? First one, easy, Bad Apple. Okay, two, two who's. I already talked about Satori, I uploaded a video about Raikou earlier, but I also really like Sumi Reko. I'll upload a video about her eventually. Three, my favorite video game series that isn't Toho is Fire Emblem. I love games that combine storytelling and gameplay, and I'm also a former competitive chess player. Fire Emblem appeals to my tastes heavily. And four, in terms of presenting, the gaming historian is always a channel I've looked up to for uh, over 10 years now. Their videos are presented well, and humor isn't non-existent, but there isn't so much that the video is incomprehensible. Thanks, Norm. You're an inspiration, man. And that was about 50 novel pages worth of uh, questions and answers. Damn. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed listening to them, and if you have questions for me that you'd like answered in a future video, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching slash listening.